Welcome back to the wonderful end of the world, and this time let's actually introduce ourselves. I'm Ovak Jam. And I'm Zenoveritus. No, wait. I think we did that. I don't quite think that's right, but... Backwards? That's okay. We'll go with that. Okay, today we're gonna play... Garden... But yes, this one. Actually, this is all one take from the previous end of the video, or from the end of the previous video. So, uh, at some point I mentioned a kind of schizophrenic difficulty curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I mentioned one of my least favorite levels before, and then I remembered that I was thinking of this level. Oh. This is my least favorite level. Sorry. Also, I swear that this music is taken from Jazz Jackrabbit, but I can't remember which level I'm thinking of. Oh, you're probably thinking of Diamundas, the very first one. Yeah, you could be right. Because it has, does have the similar music tone. Yeah, it, the music changes later, so I mean, it's not like it's a, a direct ripoff mm -hmm. of quite, like, say, uh... A certain Japanese game. Yeah. That will remain nameless. However, it turns out I was wrong when, when I said there was no gimmicky control scheme for this, and, and that it, this started life as a game called what was it? I have this written down. Collect, Collect it. it. K L E C T I T, which was a game written to use the Navint Falcon, which is this ugly ass weird thing. It's a controller of sorts. It's a haptic feedback. 3D joystick or something. I don't know what that means. It really... I, I'd i have to see it in person and use it to understand it. Yeah, and apparently when using it, playing this game, you, you can really feel the mass and momentum of your marionette or something. So I don't know if that actually helps the game, but the bottom line is that it costs... Did that dog just jump up on top of your marionette? Uh, I'm not sure if he jumped up or he was kind of moved up by weirdness, but yeah. Uh, well, this level is the most Katamari-esque of all the levels, because you go from a little small thing to a little giant robot thing. Yeah. The problem is that the game engine really doesn't like doing that type of scale-ups. No, it oh, really and, and doesn't. I found out what the game engine is, and it's the same engine that, that, that they use in, uh, ah, as it turns out. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's it's called Game Studio, and it was originally called, uh, it was uh, the Animated Construction Kit, and you can look up that stuff uh, online if you really care, but yeah, it is a third-party engine. It's not their own engine. No surprises there. It was not an engine written from the ground up to actually support a game like this, so it, it kind of has issues. Whoa. Uh, Issue. Yeah, that's another thing. This game will try, if you are stuck in a wall, it will try and eject you from the wall. Sometimes. Sometimes it won't notice that you're stuck in a wall. If your entire marionette is stuck in a wall, then it will usually do a wall ejection like that, and it winds up shooting you out laterally at high speed, which is yeah, really kind of strange and actually somewhat annoying. Interesting bit of plot right there. Apparently our exploits in this wonderful end of the world have not gone unnoticed by the world. That is a really large spider. Of course, the world doesn't really make any sense anyways, and it's about to end, so... Oh, apparently the red-headed woman is called Terra. That's wonderful. Pun intended. End of round. Uh-huh, I get it. Done. So this is, again, we're going to go on a single... This is this actually, this level is also uh, very Katamari-esque in that... That's true. They had one exactly like this in Katamari, in fact. Yeah. Actually, I think it even had similar music, so... Probably. Maybe, what is these? This is those, like, candy dot things you get on the strips of paper? I don't know. Yeah, probably. You see, if this were Katamari, it would tell you what it is. Yeah, something you'd like. Shut up. And then we have Mike and Ike's. Which are actually good. Hey. Maybe they're just jelly beans, I don't know. No, I think they're supposed to be the candy dots, and those are like Cadbury cream eggs, and then those are Mike and Ike's. I don't know, those are gumdrops of various sizes, I think. Oh, whatever. Yeah, so let's argue over the candy. This is, this is gonna... Well, the pumpkin thing is those awful pumpkin things that they put in those autumn mixes. Yeah. Which are like candy corn, but not really. Well, yeah, it's like candy corn, except it's pumpkin, but it tastes like can't. Oh, wait, Speaking I can't. of candy corn, I don't really like candy corn. I, I don't really know if I need to go on a rant against it now, though. Especially not. Well, actually, no. It would be perfectly in the, in the spirit of this game to just totally rip off Lewis Black. That's true. And call it your own. So go for it. Corn. It tastes like candy. 
a totally original idea that was not ripped off from anybody else. <laughs> oh, man. I don't really feel like I need to continue, but okay. Yeah. Oh, no, you broke up the assembly. What about the right to free assembly? Well, they can still assemble. They're just assembly inside the marionette now. I'll buy that. But it's nice to know that we're, that we're not actually going to save any healthy food, but we are going to save a whole bunch of candy for the end of the world. Oh, yeah, and, and the licorice for dog poop, that, that's that's classy. Oh, yes, very classy. Well, Deja Bond's a very classy game studio. Yeah. I think the poster, the banner poster that they had at PAX East said something about licking it. I don't remember what, though. I, the, no, I don't remember. I thought they were heavily pushing. Ah! That. Oh, they were? Well, I mean, that was like a year ago. Yeah. And there's so little to talk about in this game. Well, you know, we're talking about the candies. Have you ever <laughs> had those fruit slices? Uh, probably. I kind of like them. And now we're in the Christmas section. I think candy canes are more my speed. Hmm, yeah. No, some cotton candy. Yep. Delicious cotton candy. Choco. I have no idea what those little bars are supposed to be. Those graham crackers, I hope? Yellow bars. They look, maybe they're supposed to be peanut brittle? I have no idea. No. I don't know. Oh, my virus database has just been updated. Well, that's helpful. It is a very good thing I turned off sounds for that. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, hey, we're being watched. Yes, this is actually takes place inside like a, a small room. You can actually see the people up there. And there's another woman off to the side. That was the highest score you've ever you've had to get so far, 600 and something. Your final grade is Yeah, well. Well done. There's a lot of stuff. And now from one of the, the worst levels in the game. Oh God. Yeah, you know. Which one? Sky, Sky Top, Top Mall. Mall. That is bad. Yeah. So a brief montage of failing grades. Your final grade is B. B is not failing. A minus is not failing. A is not failing. Actually, I think you need A to unlock the metropolis there in all levels, so anything less than an A is a failing grade if you want to complete the game. Anything less than an A plus is a failing grade if you want to get the achievement. That's okay. There's an achievement for uh, A, which is that you get um, five stars on every single level, and there's like 84 levels. Of course, there's only five achievements for Ah, so... I thought it was like all of seven, but whatever. I think it's five. That might be seven. Anyway, yeah, now we're destroying a large city. Oh, wait, no, we're just really destroying a, a small model city. Now we're... You're going to move on to the city later. If you couldn't tell by the name Sky Top Mall and the fact that we started off in something that was not a Sky Top Mall, I can only assume that this is a Sky Top Mall because they could not figure out a way to include a ceiling. Well, can you look up? No. Obviously, you can't. But this will come into play later. I see. So what are those very, very statuesque things that don't look a thing like a human? Uh, I think those are mannequins. Ah, okay. Uh, they don't actually have any... Maybe they're androids. They don't have any actual shoppers here, so instead they, they just try and make it look that way. They're gliding around. You can tell that they're obviously on wheels. I see. I mean, they're not walking. They're just kind of being propelled around. Well, that's, that's very interesting. That one appears to be sleeping. Actual gameplay, no, back there, when I uh, hopped across those computer monitors, you have to be a certain size in order to do that, otherwise you'll just fall. And you do need to grab them if you actually want to A-plus this. And then the, the, there's, yeah, you pretty much need to follow the path I'm going, sort of, to actually A-plus this, because there's a very specific order of rooms which have large enough things for you to grab quickly enough to actually get. This level is very annoying for getting an A-plus on. And the horrible slowdown that we're only just starting to see uh, is just part of the reason. How dare you talk about actual gameplay? I don't know. Um, well, you've got it in the bag at this point. You'd think that, wouldn't you? Not really, actually. Yeah, it is still definitely possible to fail, but you should be able to start seeing the horrible, horrible slowdown. And... I don't know why there's so much slowdown at this point in the game. The buildings in the background? I don't know. There just is. I mean, when I first played this game a couple of years ago before I got this computer, they would slow down at this point, too. So I don't know if... I don't know what's causing the slowdown. Oh, man, you have to get everything. Wow. Yeah, I think it was 685. Well, good work. 
Oh, and that actually ends this video, doesn't it? Yes, it does. We'll see you next time. In the next video, we will actually complete the damn game. Well, you will.